show you what I got going on here. I have a YouTube video on. I'm trying not to cram. I have about 10 minutes left <clears throat> until my check-in time for Security Plus, for my Security Plus exam. And I am nervous. I just had some Panera and chatted with my boyfriend for a bit and have just tried to keep the day like calm. I do have plans for celebrating afterwards, like no matter what the outcome is. I'm trying to remove myself from the outcome and just be proud of myself for getting to this point of studying and scheduling and now taking Security Plus. And yeah, my last practice test I did this morning, early this morning, right when I woke up, I did the third practice test of Professor Maser and I got a 77%. So I'm hoping that that will be strong enough in knowledge to pass the exam. Wish me luck. I'll keep you posted afterwards how it all went. <laughs> it's a terrible angle. Hey, there you should Starbucks or not? Hi. Hi, can I get a venti um, iced brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Okay, anything else? And then two chocolate cake pops, a tall ice water, and a warm, uh, what's it called? Um, croissant. <laughs> water. I got your water, sweetie. So let's do a little update on my test. I didn't update this yesterday because I was pretty upset after I got done with my first go at the Security Plus. I was so close. I was so close to passing it. My, um, I got a 724. Obviously, you know you have to get a 750 to pass. So I was probably like a few questions away. And... I remember afterwards I was kicking myself for a couple hours because I kept teetering back and forth on like five questions and I went and checked all of them after and like my gut instinct on almost all of them would have been the right answer but I chose the wrong answer and I honestly think that like those could have pushed me over to pass it but you know what happened happened so I will be taking it again I want to still do it before the end of the month so I'm gonna be taking it again in like two weeks I'm just gonna go and brush up on some things luckily I do remember most of what I tested on so I kind of have an idea of like what I want to brush up on um, even though I'm sure the next exam is going to be entirely different so I'll just study again you know I'll just keep studying keep going and um you know hopefully next time i will see a pass at the end of the test it's kind of like reinvigorated my excitement with cybersecurity. i think in my previous video i mentioned that i may even be interested in going into like business analyst or um, i don't know like data analyst or something like that but um, I feel like I'm reinvigorated again with cybersecurity. I feel excited about it all over again after getting so close to finishing it and so close to getting like my Security Plus certification. Um, I went online and I started to like re-look at stuff like GovTech jobs 
and just kind of look at like what's possible you know like over the next couple years um, I think it would be really exciting to start looking into going into like GovTech um, which is a term that I see like Simone B's look use a lot on Instagram she's amazing she shares so much information on going into GovTech online I purchased her course it has been just like a wealth of knowledge that's something that's kind of like been on my mind is that like after I finish um, security plus and then also after I finish my degree which I plan on finishing next term then I'm gonna start looking for jobs um, but yeah I don't want to get too far ahead of myself I'm trying to like reel it in and stay focused on just like finishing the security plus I feel like I was surprised that I failed to, to be honest because huh it's good good make sure you're drinking water the security like it wasn't so crazy as I thought it would be it wasn't like the questions are a lot more digestible than what you'll see on practice exams from like let's say like Dion or Messer like they're a lot more um, digestible is like how I would say it like the questions are not like these long storytelling ones they're very like to the point rigid like they're more like straight cut to cut straight to like what they want to answer from I wish I could like give you an example because I could tell you but I don't know if I'm allowed to and I don't want to like get in trouble mm -hmm.